Hello, good people of St. Ambrose. As we move toward the end of this challenging year 2020, we're about to jump from a different kind of Thanksgiving to a different kind of Advent and Christmas. Many of us will deeply miss the loved ones who usually join us for holiday celebrations. Many of us will have to skip traditions that we've kept since our youth. I know that we'll miss hugging beloved friends before and after Christmas services, decorating the church, and singing Christmas carols together. I know that I, for one, will miss sharing Christ's body and blood with you on the most special night in which he came to us in human flesh. As your new rector, I would have loved to celebrate the incarnation with you in all of the joyful, time-tested St. Ambrose ways. Instead, we are challenged to celebrate Christ's birth this year in new and different ways. Advent and Christmas will not be the same, but God will be with us. God will appear in our midst. I'd like to invite us to lean into Advent this year. Advent, as you know, is traditionally a time of preparation and fasting. Advent is a time to rest, to prepare oneself in the quiet of one's heart to meet God anew on Christmas Day. This Advent especially, I encourage us to take advantage of the quiet, alone time that COVID-19 has imposed on us. Don't wear yourselves out trying to recreate normal. Keep Advent simple and prayerful this year. Direct your energies toward compassion for those who are sick and suffering. Tell God what you are longing for this Advent. At St. Ambrose, we have several opportunities for Advent preparation for you to choose from. First, especially for those with children or grandchildren at home, you can help them to save their coins to purchase an animal that will provide food to families in need in the developing world. Also, you can help your children to pick out new hats and gloves and scarves for the unhoused men and women here around us. Just drop off both of these donations at church on the weekend of December 5th and 6th. St. Nicholas will be there too, safely distanced, with his story of helping those in need. Number two, you can sign up for Advent Word online. Advent Word is a global Advent calendar that offers images and short reflections on a different word for each day of Advent. You can read the reflections each morning online and carry the word with you throughout your day. You can even post your own images and reflections on Facebook or Instagram as a response to the word. To receive these posts, it's easy. Just go to adventword.org and sign up. Or check out the St. Ambrose, St. Ambrose Facebook page where uh, we have the link. Third, during the last week of Advent, you can join me on the St. Ambrose Facebook page at 7.30 p.m. each evening from December 17th through 23rd I'll offer 10 minutes of prayer and preparation for all ages as Christ's birth approaches. On December 21st, which is a Monday, and the winter solstice, we'll offer a longest night service on Zoom at 8 p.m. This will be a time when we can, with others, acknowledge the less joyful feelings we might have at this time of year and offer them to God in prayer. 
this year especially, filled with loss and sorrow for so many. It's important to come together in God's presence to find comfort and support. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day will be different this year, but with everyone's help, we will still celebrate it with joy at St. Ambrose. Here's what you can expect. At 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve, you're invited to gather via Zoom for a 30-minute family service for all ages with carols, prayers, and a pre-recorded Christmas pageant. This service will be assembled beforehand using the Christmas theme pictures that you are going to send of your family and with songs that the choir has recorded and with a pageant that Reverend Jan and our families have put together. We'll greet one another on Zoom and watch the service together on a shared screen. At 5.30 p.m. on Christmas Eve, We'll have 30 minutes of Christmas cheer on Zoom. Join other St. Ambrosians for fellowship and Christmas greetings and good wishes. And at 6 p.m., we'll gather on Zoom to watch and pray together as we screen share our pre-recorded Christmas lessons and carols service. Again, for this service, we will need readers to pre-record the lessons and lots of pictures to share during the hymns and songs. So check out the buzz and send all those in. For those who can't join us in the early evening or who don't care for Zoom, the YouTube links of both services will be available on our website and our Facebook page and our YouTube page. And finally, on Christmas Day, you can join us once again on Zoom for a live Christmas morning prayer service at 10 a.m. Please reach out to me or to your other St. Ambrosians for support and care during this coming month. And remember that God is Emmanuel, God with us, in every place, online or in the world in which we find ourselves. Blessings to you. Bye.